Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Chef Chris Faison, and welcome to Chefology Cooking. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make a quick meal prep today, so you can have something for your week, ready to start your week. If anything, you know, you can also have me do it for you. But, it's something simple. Today, we're gonna to do a seared chicken stuffed with kale, mushrooms, and Swiss cheese, charred zucchini, and a quinoa cake. So today is gonna to be real quick and simple. I have a lot of stuff already stepped out for you, so it'll make it easier for you. So you start off with something simple with the chicken. Right here I have the chicken. What I did was I pounded it and stuffed it with cheese, kale, and mushrooms. Now, after I, I'm gonna cut this open and I'm gonna sear this chicken. It's nicely round, I, I pounded it out earlier, stuffed it, made it with love. You wanna get a nice sear on your chicken. So you wanna get a nice sear on this side of the chicken, I don't know if you guys can see. But on that side of the chicken, you get a nice good sear on it. Now, while it's going in the bowl, get some quinoa some diced vegetables, red peppers, green peppers, zucchini, onions. You dump them all in, you're gonna mix that all together. A little oil, a little vinegar. And you're gonna get a saute pan, you're gonna sear your quinoa cake. You're gonna sear it with a nice little quinoa cake. You're gonna compact it. Me, I already have mine seared and ready to roll. Voila, beautiful. Seared, compact, love, salt, pepper. For every chicken, you need a good sauce. That's the, the sauce is the name of the game. Because if you don't have a sauce, then what's the point of eating chicken? So for me, what I did earlier was I took a little cherry tomatoes and I confit them with some whole radishes. Now you got a nice sear in that chicken. Throw it into your oven at maybe 350, 400, do 400. That's what I usually do it as. Now I made this special sauce. All it is is uh, cherry tomatoes, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of tarragon, ginger, salt, pepper. I'm gonna put that in with my comfy tomatoes and my comfy radishes. Get that on a low simmer. Now, after you cut and boil it out, you get your zucchini, which I already have chopped and ready to roll. You're gonna take your zucchini, oil, a little oil on it, a little salt, pepper, and we're gonna char it. Now, all I do with the char is I put it right on top of it. I already have a charred zucchini ready to roll for us. Nicely charred, both sides, looks good, tastes good. Now the best part about this charred zucchini is it has that nice black and flavor to it. Tastes like the summertime. Summertime and the winter time. Best time. So you wanna take out your chicken and make sure you check the temperature of your chicken. Always have a thermometer handy, which I always do. You need the chicken to be at 165, which this chicken is not ready at. So give it a little rotate. Throw it back at. Now most of these meal prep meals is simple, ready to eat food that you can just throw right in your microwave, throw right in your oven. So I have a little cast iron pan, which most meal plant pans that I would make will come in, such as these or plastic containers. So guys, when it comes out the oven, look at that. Beautiful, nicely stuffed through, nice cheese and mushrooms. Nice, comfy tomatoes, comfy radishes with this 
nice tomato tarragon sauce. When you come home from work and you're hungry, you don't want to cook, you don't have time to cook for your family, you have these already made fresh, healthy meals. All the sauces will come like this inside, throw that right in the microwave, turn your oven to 350, put it right in your oven, heat it up, and look at that. Who wouldn't want to eat that for dinner? It's like restaurant quality. So there you have it. Here's a nice meal prep plate of seared chicken stuffed with kale, mushrooms, and Swiss cheese, seared quinoa cake, charred zucchini topped with comfy tomatoes and radishes and a tarragon tomato sauce. You can contact me at chefologycooking at gmail.com or check out my Instagram at chefologycatering. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. It was a pleasure. Leave comments. Thank you. Bye.